Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Painting Happy Little Minis. Uh, I'm joined today by Natasha and Gretchen. Sorry. Hey guys. <laughs> and I, of course, am Dave. Because halfway through that, I realized I didn't introduce yeah. myself. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> it's going crazy. It's going crazy. Um, welcome back. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks Fantastic. for having us. Awesome to have you again. Uh, we're fully ready to sell our QVC items today. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did we just all go our, to... <laughs> oh, hey, just kidding. <laughs> uh, all of our mics are over at Baltimore Comic Con this week, so yeah. we get to yeah. have these fancy Britney microphones, so yep. I know I'm excited. It. <laughs> it's kind of strange, because we got to yeah. use these when uh, when we went to uh, Alliance Open House, mm. so it's, I'm kind of surprised Oh, like demo stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A little demo stuff. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But uh, cool. hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we're going to be continuing painting uh, the minis from the Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth, the board game. Uh, good job. That was good. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. There's no uh, clay for me. <laughs> on Tuesday, uh, Rick and I painted I uh, Hoggle and Ludo. We have them on the spinner there. Doop. Ooh, check it out. It's so cool. I love the detail. Oh, man. Yep. Definitely. Uh, Looks cool like minis. professional or something. <laughs> yeah. Not quite. Almost Not quite. like people <laughs> know what they were doing. I know. Yeah. It's amazing. Spend a, bit, huh? spend a bit of time on those. It's really nice um, now that the wash has dried on um, Ludo because Rick put the wash on like with two minutes to go. <laughs> oh man! In the last episode, <laughs> so it was super glossy before, but now it's yeah, it uh, looks really cool, nice and flat. So, uh, what are we painting today? Who's got what? Well, I have Jareth the Goblin King himself. So, um, no pressure. No, 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 no pressure for the all. Goblin King. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. We'll cool. see if you get to ma magic dance later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I have shading. the amazing Sarah, Hooray. the heroine of our, the oh, winer of, of the movie. I mean, <laughs> the heroine of the. She kind of starts off you that know. way, doesn't she? Yeah, Who's a little the, bit. Like she I something. hate my baby brother so much. Please take him, Goblin King. You know. Yeah. I mean, and I then, as and an then, older sister, oh, I feel you know, that a little bit. He gets taken, and now you're all surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I was an older brother. Oh. And I, I certainly would have sold my sister to the Goblin King. <laughs> For like not much. I mean, I was a middle child, middle so child. I feel like I'm the only you child, so around. I have no. I would have been skipped around. Yeah, I would. I probably would have gone there myself, though. To be honest, I would have sold my. I would have been like, all right, well, um, bye, guys. Goblin I'm gonna go King, adventure. Goblin King, take me yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm an only Fantastic. child, so I mean, yeah. honestly, I probably just wouldn't have wanted to hang out in the labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just it's wondering. David Bowie. Who won it? Exactly. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> you can't go wrong there. Hey, and Andrea. And I uh, get to paint Sir Didymus. Yes. Writing Ambrosius. And I don't uh, envy you. No, yeah. just looking at the... It's a lot of little Hoggle pieces. Was pretty, was pretty straightforward, but yeah, looking at his, his lovely card. Hey, Lee. Here, um, Carl. Who saying hi to people or waving. Excellent. They're waving, so... Uh, <laughs> so we have... Uh, but he's got a, a blue hat, a yellow feather. Uh, he has orange fur because he's a fox. Uh, green gloves. So red vest. Oh, I should probably start painting, huh? <laughs> awesome. Oh, this one. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. I'm like, I just realized I should probably start painting. <laughs> okay, oh, a little bit of flair. Whoa, check that out. There we go. So he is all sorts of colors. Thankfully, Ambrosius is uh, just a nice English sheepdog. <laughs> They're so. a fun breed. Yeah? Yeah. Like, so we were watching, oh, cool. Castle Rock last night, and there's a dog on there it just reminded me of when i was like in fourth grade i was telling my husband um we found a stray i found a stray at school and i tried to convince my mom to keep it because you know it reminded me of labyrinth <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it was. laughs> i wanted to keep the sheep dog i wanted nice. my own sheep dog <laughs> that would have been awesome she didn't know oh, she, she didn't, didn't go me. for it no uh, did you sit down and watch the movie <laughs> yeah come on mom <laughs> yes it's a little bit more difficult back then as well yeah well we lived at my grandparents too time so they're probably not going to go for it because yeah. they already had a dog and it was a little dog named jasper and you know big old sheep dog <laughs> right yeah wouldn't fit in i live in the city so it's not really this the place for a sheep dog no you know i already have a herding breed i don't need another <laughs> 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 i already have a 65 pound fluffy giant herding dog sheep dog i don't I need another one. Yeah, I don't need another one. How many sheep do you have? <laughs> um, I'm working on that actually. Okay. I'm, I, I'd prefer goats. 
Okay. Honestly, because okay. goats are just cooler in every goats way. Goats are pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> um, but I'm working on that. It's a it's a work in progress. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, trust me, before the show, someone made a comment about um, our headsets and being like in a game show or QVC. <laughs> trust me, we were practicing <laughs> doing funny things. If you actually go over to my um, my Instagram, CanonDollX, C-A-N-N-O-N-D-O-L-L-X, uh, on the story, there's a hilarious little story thing of uh, Gretchen and I oh. being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. We had a lot of fun before we started the show. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, as as you said, all of our the, well, the usual not all of the usual equipment, most <laughs> of the usual equipment is at uh, Baltimore Comic Con. Yes. At the Which moment. so it starts tomorrow. Is that right? It starts tomorrow. Um, the Comic Wow booth will be there, um, booth number two two zero seven, and the Previews World booth, which is two two zero nine. Um, they are there already. Uh, they're setting up and that kind of fun stuff. I know uh, I will be there Saturday. I will definitely be there Saturday as well. Along with uh, my husband from Matt from Man at Arms, who will be there at the Comic Wild booth signing from one to three, and he is bringing the big and beautiful Stormbreaker from Avengers: Infinity Ooh. War. So that's super exciting. Definitely. That's oh, where did that cool. wash go? Did you? Did oh, I move sorry. It somewhere? Um, there we go. You uh, should totally use this. Oh, just kidding. This or that one? Oh, okay. When, when you pull that out, I was like, All right, only maybe. There you go. <laughs> Either one. Either one's fine. We were talking about, um, actually, with the washes, mm -hmm. this, either the soft tone from the Army Painter or mm -hmm. um, Sarah from Sepia from Games Workshop from the Citadel Paint Range. You paint either of those over a white prime, and you get a really nice sort of um, beige mm -hmm. sort of uh, thing. So perfect for Sarah's shirt or a vest. It was perfect for Hoggle's um, mm -hmm. shirt. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> so, hmm? but oh, might want to thin, much. thin it down a little bit, perhaps. I think I thinned it too much. It was like super washing. There it goes. Cool. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So who on the chat is a fan of Labyrinth? Should be everybody. It should be everyone. Yeah, That's I want to really know who's going to be <laughs> judging my uh, my Goblin King. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all judge your Goblin King. Uh, <laughs> 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 my Goblin, Goblin King. I ju 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 yeah. Judge your How Goblin King. How old was everyone when they saw Labyrinth for the first time? I was an adult. Awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty awesome. I um I did not grow up. I When I was growing up, I wasn't even allowed to watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, because my mom was like, you're going to get nightmares and it's not going to be fun for anyone. So you can't watch it. And I, w it wasn't until I was, um, an adult and my best friend in the whole world was like, um, how have you not seen this masterpiece? <laughs> please, please watch this. And so my friend Mel was, she sat me down. She showed me the light. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Nice. How about you, Dave? That's cool. Um, I, I think I probably saw it for the first time on TV. So the first time it would have been released on TV. Oh, wow. After it was in the movie. So when, would it, when did it come out? Was it 1986. I was going to say, was it 86? Yeah. So it probably would have been, um, I guess, 87, 88, mm. sometime around then. I was six years old. When it was released? Or? Uh huh. Oh, there you go. And when I saw it. <laughs> Yeah. Quick, oh. do the math. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was. I was born December '79, so it makes it really easy to determine. I was like 13. in 1989. I was nine in 1988. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's really easy to break it down. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna go over. I just to won't Twitch. tell you how old I am. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Twitch and make sure that I'm hosting Game Trade Media. For those awesome. of you who don't know, Game Trade Media is also on Twitch. We are. We are That's everywhere. pretty awesome. So if you're, you know, not allowed to watch Facebook at work, you can watch Twitch <laughs> instead. <laughs> not saying to break the rules, just <laughs> saying to to bend them Move slightly them around a little bit. Yep. There. Now I'm hosting Game Trade Media on my channel, which you should too. You can easily set up auto host. So anytime Game Trade Media comes on live, runs a rerun, anything like that, go ahead and give us a little support on social media and auto host. Super easy and follows are free. Excellent. 
I don't know much about Twitch. It's pretty cool. Neither do I. It's pretty cool. It's a really great resource, too, like for, um, you know, if you're wanting to learn, like, how to paint little miniatures, you can yep. go on there and search in the creative file and and see who's streaming painting little miniatures. It's cool. pretty cool. My husband um, started streaming just this past week, uh, forging. Okay. And uh, came on last night, too, and, like, forged for hours, which was pretty impressive considering that's what he was doing all day long at work. Sure. And yeah. then um, came home and decided to do that also. It was a very long day for him. Excellent. So when he's doing that, when he's is um, messing around with that format, is do you sort of sit there and uh, sort of hang out in the chat with him? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I help moderate. Help moderate. Yeah, I help moderate. Um, he's got like some stuff set up too, but I do help moderate and um, answer some questions because you know if he's um. He's, he's busy. A he, yeah, if he's swinging a hammer <laughs> and like stuff like that, I'll help answer some questions and things like that. Right. So. Well, that's cool. And it's a lot of fun, and people are really supportive. Like they come. Um, he would stream uh, gaming too, but um, I mean, people really love it when he's forging because that's what he's. I streamed really me gaming, amazing gaming at. once, and that was an experience. That looks like a pretty good blue jean color. Yeah, that's a really good blue jean color. I like that. That's good. Mixed, good mixing. Um, wolf gray. Nice. And azul ultramarine. <laughs> or ultramarine blue. Hmm. Ultramarine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or the underlying yeah. ultramarine. Oh, yeah. Azul. <laughs> azul. <laughs> Which means blue. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just like to note for today, I wore my amazing 80s pink lipstick. Just for the show. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 90s baby. Uh, <laughs> 70s. For me. There we go. Oh, look, 70s, 80s, 90s. <laughs> I got them all. Works out. Go. And now everything is fashion and stuff is all 80s and 90s again. I'm loving it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, yeah. I went to forever 21 like a few months back to get something for my daughter and like everything was flannels and like uh body should. suits and I'm like all this stuff body suits, but and i was like flannels. oh my god i'm 11 years old again what is happening <laughs> flannels are another story though like grunge flannels yeah right. yeah because they're comfy yeah. and they're cozy and they're warm and it's going to be cold yep. soon <laughs> this is during the summertime <laughs> though because you know the girls wear it around the oh. waist uh, no, I'm always actually yeah, like I cold. Oh yeah, I live in flannels. I love flannels. I don't know why, but I decided to go and paint um, Sidinimus first, like all of his orange fur. Oh, nice. So oh, that's cool. Very nice. Pretty well. Yeah, I did the uh, skin and hair. Now I'm gonna work on the the oh. blouse. Uh, Right. And then pants. Awesome get all the, yeah. Floofy blouse. Try to get all the colors. But that yeah, hair's yeah. looking very cool. Yeah. Not yeah. too bad. Not too, not too oh shabby nice. for skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out her jeans. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's pretty interesting, that wash. Yep. Cause They're working well. <laughs> 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 too, close, see, too close, too yeah. close. Too close. Wait, wait. wait. There, there we go. go. So just that, that kind of brown wash, but it does give it that kind of off-white yep. color. <laughs> Cam stealer. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. There we go. Uh, are there any characters this set does not have? Um, oh, here. If you can look the Quite front of the box. That's pretty yep. much that's all the characters. So it's got yep, so the main ones. It doesn't have, Jareth. you know, your... Your awesome worm friend. It doesn't have some of the, doesn't have the door knockers. <laughs> doesn't have some of the other ones. But your main, main crew. Okay, let's see if I can get. Stop falling over, Sarah. Good God. Get it together, there Sarah. There's at least one, and possibly more uh, expansions. Oh, cool. Oh. The so the one that I definitely know about is the the goblins. <coughs> expansion which has um cool i think five or six goblin minis in it what about the chili down dudes i'm not sure that like the fire demons yeah that lose yeah. their heads and come apart yep. 
could be a fun paint. Sure. That or uh, great, yeah. Sarah yeah. in her ball gown. Oh, yeah. I was actually yep. expecting that to be one of the minis in here. I think, uh, no, that'd be good. That's too much. And the baby, of course. <laughs> that would be such That'd a be tiny nice. mini. That would be a tiny oh mini. Oh my god, it would be so tiny. It'd be easy to paint, though. It would. You just <laughs> paint it like Waldo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I too want the worm. I know. <laughs> Everybody Speaking wants of the tiny worm. minis. Oh, and the guy that guards the bridge. Oh, oh that yeah, would be, be fun. Ah, oh, Jinx. <laughs> 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 I mean, Sir Didymus guards a bridge. Mm, that doesn't really work. I would definitely like to paint some goblins from this at some stage, though. Yeah, that'd be cool. Did either of you have the awesome uh, goblins book? I did not. Goblin art book. Have you seen it at all? No, I no? haven't. I've seen okay. it. I don't have it. Yeah. So um, Brian Froud, or Froud, um, was the guy who did all the concept sketches mm -hmm. for the goblins. Mm -hmm. And they turned it into an awesome sort of background book. Oh, cool. So there's little stories about each of the, the goblins and what they do and how they interact that with other so goblins. That sounds so fun. Yeah. yeah. Definitely uh, check it out on Amazon. Very cool. Today's book. episode sponsored by Amazon. On Amazon. <laughs> well, Rick's not here, so it can't be sponsored by Netflix. Yeah. Or maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> no. There we go, Rick. We mentioned it for you. Yep. There you go, Rick. <laughs> Our job's done. <laughs> <laughs> job's done. Pack up. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> We're done here, folks. Thanks for watching. How are things going in the chat? Uh, a little slow. Yeah, some a little questions? slow, yeah. A little slow. Yeah, if you have any questions Guys. other than the set, they asked, uh, you know, about the set pieces. I can only see the um, Facebook chat, so if there's anything on the Twitter chat or the Twitch chat, I can't see it. Don't. I should have put up my um, iPad, too. Could have been... Jewel screened it. All over the place, yeah. Excellent. Tech Multiple wizard. chat rooms. And I thought about having it open, but I know a bunch of friends of mine go onto the Facebook one. Yep. Well, last night I was watching a video about um, an upcoming... Well actually, I think it's already started a Kickstarter for some terrain. Mm-hmm. Uh, by a guy called uh, Johnny Fraser Allen, mm -hmm. who works for Weta Workshop mm -hmm. in uh, in New Zealand. And during the course of that, he mentioned that he was the one who actually sculpted the miniatures for this. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So he's a huge um, fan of the labyrinth and uh, the dark crystal. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. my God. And they were the things that sort of got him into I don't understand how I watched that, that movie as a kid. It gives me nightmares now. <laughs> Like they went hand in hand, dark labyrinth and then dark crystal. Yep. And oh my gosh, I just thought they were so like surreal and dreamy and fun. That's a, like movies. A lot of the like late eighties, early nineties <laughs> films that were fantasy had such more such. It, it was just all the more like dreamlandy. I think. Um, yep. I don't know how else. There was more glitter. There, there was more. There was more glitter. It was more fantasy. Yeah, like. Yeah. There was a lot of soft focus as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I think that that probably added to it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, James, and Mad hey, Zappa. Mad Zappa, welcome. I'm trying to make sure to hi say hi to people when they come and say hi. We used, we used the goblin set as minis to paint for our Patreon classes. Really fun sculpts. And they that are... Hold on. See more. That's not letting me see more. We're trying. No. We're trying. <laughs> yeah. Short comments, people. Read Short comments. Your, yeah. <laughs> Short comments. Yeah, it's not letting me read the rest of that. Sorry. Boo. But something. Sculpts that are, I think, decent, maybe. Right. That's what it was saying. Cool. Looks like that's... Possibly it. That's the gist. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Let's go with that. Just make up the rest of the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Because Ludo. Ludo's already painted. Yep. He we was painted Ludo. on Tuesday. He's uh, down in front here. Liana could zoom in perfectly. Boom. There he is. Yep. Hi, Logan. I don't know why I just yelled at. <laughs> 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 Loud noises. Loud noises. 
other side. Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think I know where I started with uh, Sididimus now. Mm. Like with his fur. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, uh, there's a lot of other work. Yeah. On <laughs> Again, I'm yeah. not jealous. Like, I'm getting... I, I feel like I'm accomplishing a lot with Jareth right now. I, I'm getting the base coat of everything down. It's looking cleaner than I thought it was going to be. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. How are those jeans going? Oh, the jeans have been done. Excellent. Getting her shoes. Shoes already? Her shoes. Well, because I'm letting some of the top part, I did her vest. Right. I did her vest and then <laughs> 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 I did her vest and then uh another kind of wash on her shirt. Yep. Wait, I'm trying to it's like <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, opposite, opposite. Opposite. Yep. So and then I'm gonna um let that the bottom dry and then I'm gonna do her hair and then I'm actually gonna do some of the detail on her vest. Oh cool. So that's why I'm kinda getting all the browns out yep. now. Camera stealer. There we go. That's always the danger sitting in the middle. You don't get the close cam. Oh, <laughs> you're the only one that has a close cam. Huh? Yep. Well, we have it here, but it's not close. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a look at Gretchen's close cam. Yeah. It's close. Oh, you did get a close cam. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it's robbed. Just you. Just you. I thought it was backed up Base a little cut. more. <laughs> All right, I'll steal your cameras. It's cool. <laughs> For the low price of nineteen ninety nine, <laughs> you too can steal cameras. <laughs> Just five easy payments. Thanks, James. Says it nice. Looks great, everyone. Cool. Thank you so much. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to eat her microphone again. I am. It's delicious. Listen, okay, that's fiber. strong words for, for I was about to say, people who probably eat paints. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I don't lick my paintbrush. That's Dave. I do, totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's not always tasty. <laughs> not always, not but always. That, that means it sometimes is. <laughs> sometimes. Some of the paints taste like sometimes. chocolate. I'm not going to tell you which ones. You have to find out for yourself. Disclaimer, please don't do that, don't kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, amusingly enough, it's not chocolate brown. You'd think, but. Wait, were you just like, giving like a PSA? Yeah. Like, don't eat, don't yeah, eat the paints. Yeah, please don't eat paints. <laughs> <laughs> You'll end up like Dave. Don't eat paints. Uh, <laughs> 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 don't try this at home, kids. Oh, that's a shame. You're saying the world doesn't need more me's? One's enough. <laughs> and back to the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. There's so much intense focus this time. I feel like we doing really little. Yeah. Well, I think we just want we want to make sure we do. We want to like do justice. Do justice to them. Yeah. Yeah, like. This movie characters. means a lot. It does. You know, and in go. L.A., they just had the Labyrinth of Jareth Masquerade Ball. We yeah. were talking July. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, friends of mine put it on every Jealous. year, along with plenty of friends that perform at it. And, I mean, just make, and so many friends that go and make mind-blowing costumes. Like I want to go. The kind, like, you know, when you watch these amazing movies as a kid and you see, like, all the grand ballroom stuff and the you know, costuming, things like that. And you're like, oh my God, one day, like, that'd be so rad to actually be a part of it. That's what Labyrinth of Jareth ball is like. The masquerade oh, ball is like. I want to, I want to go so bad. I want to wear a big fancy dress. I want to, I want to go. so great. I've been to a ball exactly once. And I was kind of mm -hmm. telling you about this before, but it was the Navy ball with my boyfriend. And despite having the word ball in mm -hmm. the title, the Navy ball is not, not quite a ball. Mm. So right. is it just a dance? It's it's a dance. It's like prom. Mm. It's like navy prom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, which was still really nice, and I, I, so I liked just it. And I can say I went so to a ball. So what it was what it was lacking was just like 
more grandiose kind of dresses and, yeah. and tuxes yeah, and things like that. Yeah, get with it, Navy. I want ball <laughs> gowns. Uh, <laughs> I want glitter. Yeah. <laughs> I want David Bowie. Mm. Oh, we all want David now. Bowie. Yeah. Well, that was a downer. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Way to go, Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to a ball either. It's really cool. I took, um, I mean, I've gone a bunch of times and then uh, it, it's family friendly too, to a certain level, like as long as your kid is cool. And um, mine is. So we dressed up <laughs> one year. Um, uh, Sydney and I, uh, we went like, a, it's three days. So okay. wow. you can like go one day and go all out um, or go two days and then have two different costumes. And um, one time we went and it was totally last minute. So like I just made up something really fast and actually the last two times i went i made something up really fast um like day of put together a costume and um we went one time we went like as matching um like pixie fairies so i did her um instead of wearing a mask i painted our mask on oh cool and um and we had a lot of fun and then uh i mean she one year had so much fun we went two days in a row and she outdanced everyone she right. was probably I don't know, six or seven years old and was like, I was sitting there going like, can we please go home now? <laughs> can we, I'm done. And she was That's like still me. dancing, still dancing until like one thirty in the morning. I yeah. will dance yeah. until everyone is fed up with me. Yeah. It was, I love it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And I get endorphin high too. So like the more I dance, the more I move, the more energy I have. Mm -hmm. So it's just an endless cycle. Right. <laughs> All my friends, by the end of any time I've been to like dances, all my friends are like, "No, you need to, you need to take a moment." Yeah. And I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that being my uh, my daughter as well, my daughter Lucy, she's uh, six. Oh, nice. Maybe on seven, but same sort of thing. She just two speeds. Yeah. <laughs> on and on, on or off. Yeah. yeah. Like f full speed or off. Yeah. You should love that. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And uh, it's just really cool. And they have um, a whole performance, too. And they have dancers and they have singers and they have um, artists. And just, I mean, it's really, it's magical. It's totally magical. It's yep. If you've never been and you live in the L.A. area or California or a surrounding state, <laughs> that you can easily <laughs> get there. Like, it's worth going. I mean, there's people that fly from here to go and they plan i know friends that are already planning now and making their outfit for next year oh excellent yeah but will i, I be mean, able like to paint like dave if i eat the paint well i don't know how to do dancing but Find it can out. happen <laughs> it's Find uh, out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sounds like Wait, it. did oh, you just say that they know, should paint it? I said I find out. That seems that like a... Yeah. Read the co she read yeah. a comment. I, yeah. I knew it was a comment. I knew it was a comment, but... Uh, I was not necessarily encouraging or discouraging. Well, you said <laughs> you said just try to find it. Out. You said try it and find out. That sounds yeah. like you're encouraging it. You have to find the magic paint that's that makes that happen. I'm confused. That's the trick. <laughs> should, should people do it or I feel not like do a quest it? is about to happen. <laughs> they should look into their hearts uh, okay. and decide for themselves. Be true to themselves. Yes. Okay. Be true to the pigment. <laughs> uh. But no, it but don't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it, do it, do it, or do it, or don't do it. It's up to you. But uh, it probably won't help you be a better painter. Wow, Ooh, crush damn. people's. I'm just, I'm just saying the hopes and dreams. That the real thing that's going to help you be a better painter is practice, 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 practice. So painting more. Yeah, lame. Lame. Sorry. I want to go on a quest and find magical paint <laughs> to eat it, so I have the talent. So, yeah. Quest may take take you several years. Make sure you paint a lot as you're uh, like, as you're going along. I pick this color brown. It's got like a little shimmer to it. Okay. So it's kind of cool for her hair because then it kind of highlights, kind of like the picture. This one, the no, it is this one. This one. Ah, the you chose tinny tin. Tinny tin. Yeah. Yep. Not by the hair on my tinny tin tin. That's not the same thing. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> Jareth, fun fact, does not have a reference picture included in the <laughs> <laughs> box. So I'm going by pure memory alone. And imagination. Excellent. And imagination. And magic. 
So and magic, yes, <laughs> and magic. So if anyone uh, remembers what, kind what of magic? color anything is at any point in time, that'd be great. His pants <laughs> are gray. I can go back though. No, I'm just. Ahead. We just asked yeah. if somebody remembers, and I just told you. <laughs> it's it's gray. gray, and black. Black vest. Yeah, the black vest. I'm gonna go over once I do the wash for the shirt. I want to get like how can I how fix? Fast? So the paints are acrylic, so, so they dry really there. really quick. Um, um, sure, like like how do you fix it? Yeah, acrylic okay. is really good for stuff like that because it it dries insanely fast, and it lets you be able to either blend right away or if you make a mistake or something like that, you and can, can wait like for it to dry and just paint right over. Kind of, I want to highlight that a little yep. bit. So a little bit of this. The okay. magic of acrylics. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okie dokie. Sorry, I just had Dave, uh, I had a little boo-boo with her hand, like on her shirt. So I had Dave give me some other paint to help go over it. A suggestion. A suggestion. Suggestion. To but, uh, make it not look like her hand is melting into her shirt. <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the things with painting that, Everybody has to sort of get used to, really, is is correction. So everyone's going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to sort of go outside the lines a little bit. And coming back and touching up those areas is what we refer to as correction. And um, it's, it's hard important to these do. These are so little. They are so little. It's like they're miniature. <laughs> <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost miniature. No, it's exactly like that. But uh, it's like I'm just on here for like the slide comment relief, like comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. So there's a lot of brushes here. Uh, so there is yep. a lot of army painter detail brushes, the army painter hobby, small detail brush. Uh, this one is just <laughs> I can't show it on my camera. Ha ha. Um, oh, no, there's a thing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm focusing real hard trying to show. Uh, uh, there's also just a bunch of other like random paintbrushes. So um, you can use the the tiny little small detail brushes to really get inside all the nooks and crannies. Um, there's also uh, the flathead ones up here. Uh, there's the much more stiff bristled ones that you can use for dry brushing. Uh, I think it really depends on the effects that you want to go with. I'm a big fan of like in general with painting, going with one, what feels right, because I touch everything whenever I go to buy stuff, whether it's paper or just touch it, touch it all. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so like just choosing which paint brushes based on what feels right um, and also what effect you're really looking for and then experimenting. Like if you see a paintbrush and you're not quite sure what it, like what it's gonna do, but you think it looks really rad and it might do something cool for like three bucks, pick it up, see what it does. Practice on other stuff that you don't yeah. mind getting messy. That's what that's what I'm all about. <laughs> Touching stuff and getting messy. That's what she's saying. Just kidding. <laughs> well. <laughs> so many questions. <laughs> I okay. just like touching paper. Like who else who else in chat? If you're an mm -hmm. artist, do you touch the paper and oh, the I sketchbooks paper. Oh, yeah, before I you know. buy them? Sure. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're all weighted different and have different um textures. Yep. And everyone has a different texture preference. Same with paint brushes. I actually use uh, paint brushes for makeup brushes. <laughs> like because it's a longer handle and they're cheaper but usually better made. So yeah. That's funny. My, Fun um, one of my friends, Terry Latorco, she uses um, the Elf makeup brushes mm -hmm. for dry brushing. She's all about that. She like she I like like use those. Yeah, I bought a whole cheap. bunch of the Elf ones for um, my cosplay yeah. painting. Right. Yep. Stuff. Yeah. Because I feel like I have more control over them. Because I'm <laughs> I do makeup every day. So painting, yep. maybe not. Yeah. If you're. Uh, I obviously did painting more than makeup. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. See everyone. Yeah, sure do. Touch everything. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, this is coming out cool. This brush I'm using, like the bristles are kind of spread out a little bit, and it's 
actually helping texturize a shirt. Oh, cool. Really oh. cool. Like just yeah. barely touching the paint with it. Have you got a nice fine brush there for when you start on the vest? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I've got this little thing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to show you the name on this one. Yeah. Uh, but more game it, the Psycho. <laughs> oh, perfect. The reason it's called the Psycho. Let's have a look at the size of the bristles. There yeah. we go. Oh. It's good. Because if you have to paint Ooh, anything that teeny. small, it will make you psycho. That is tiny. Did you just lick my paintbrush? Sorry, yes. Dave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now that's just too far, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> At least I didn't touch it. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> that's just force of habit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Touching and making messy, especially if it's a <laughs> goblin king. <laughs> You're not wrong. There we go. Yeah, I'm using. I wasn't expecting gunmetal to be quite so gunmetally, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now our shirt looks cool. That's a, be a much better contrast than the vest. Look, see yep. everybody. <laughs> <gasps> Oops, there it is. It's hard to light. Yeah. The light really washes it out, but. You can see it's got like texture to it now. Or yep. here, maybe I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone oh, over to that one. Cam. <laughs> okay. Here. <laughs> there. <laughs> Is oh, it? no. Wait. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's forward. There oh, we go. Here we go. Air. Oh, there Air. we go. I'm not going to say comedy of errors. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we there go. There she is. Yeah. Good job. Look, yeah, yep. you see the texture a lot better. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for Looking sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this keeps moving. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Now to do this psycho vest. Let Dave lick my brush. Yeah. Dave I'm licked sorry. my brush. I'm sorry. Dave licked my brush. <gasps> Someone needs to make flavored paintbrushes for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter already. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's fine. You might just encourage other people to do it. Mm -hmm. Flavored paints. Which could be a good thing. Could be. I'm not sure. Maybe it won't be. One of the important things, though, is that if you do, um, if you are a brush licker, <laughs> it's... Uh, Dave, lick it, I'm working on details. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm working on details. <laughs> if you, too, are a brush licker. If you, too, are a brush licker. Get our um, Dave just, uh, flavored paintbrush line. Make sure you... Uh, you uh, Only how many payments of 1999? Five payments of 1999. Make sure this you could be yours. Replace your uh, paint water regularly okay <laughs> each each time you're each time you're painting mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. yeah so that it doesn't get all gross and have things grow in it and great and possibly transferred to you by the brush yeah maple syrup mm -hmm. ones for okay. rick <laughs> maple syrup ones for rick nice that'd be good he would love those yep. actually he'd spend all it really fast i think he'd spend all his time uh just licking the paintbrushes. Just licking the paintbrushes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are you doing today? Are you painting, Rick? Nope. Why is the there a paintbrush in your mouth? <laughs> That's my fourth one today. <laughs> Can't quit these paintbrushes, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so hard. Oh. Mix the contents of pixie sticks with your really expensive paints. Oh. But why would you use your expensive paints for that? <laughs> Less lead in them. There we go. Cool. Coming along. Thoroughly made Sarah look creepy now. What do you think? Oh, it's actually not too bad. It's looking all right. Yeah. Oh wow. That's looking fantastic. Don't Jeez look at Louise. ours. Louise. <laughs> show off. <laughs> Paintbrush looking show off. <laughs> <laughs> Can we there get we him go. a shirt that says that? <laughs> Paintbrush looking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. I would, I TM, like TM. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I would totally I put totally her pupils wear that. way too high. Oops. <laughs> I really didn't need to paint her face, but I'm really happy I'm doing it. It's scary. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I made her look like a really terrifying cartoon now. It happens. Yep. Aren't we all just a really terrifying <laughs> cartoon <laughs> deep down? But then, like, you look at it this way, it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> no, that doesn't look bad at all. Close, I'll take it close back. Close, <laughs> it's not bad. You got her eyebrows. It's like Grasho marks. Just remember when you get when you're playing the game, the miniatures yeah. gonna be that far away. Oh, she looks amazing. Fantastic. It looks just like Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> she, yeah. Oh, that is true. I did give her big eyebrows. <laughs> there you go. No, generally eyebrows on miniatures. <laughs> well, you really know, because Jennifer Connelly yeah. has big I eyebrows. Know, I know. I understand that. But yeah. even so, I would avoid doing that. <laughs> well, I did it. Too bad. Yeah. Breaking the See? rules. <laughs> it wow. looks like it doesn't look bad. Eyebrows. Don't eyebrows. look closely. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it look amazing? It does. <laughs> totally amazing. Take off your glasses. <laughs> it looks even better. Yeah. It looks so great. <gasps> Excellent. That's good. That's what we want. I think I have some very cool looking miniatures at the end of this. <laughs> orange juice er, and toothpaste flavored if you're trying to stop. <laughs> All right. That would All just make me want that would make me want to have toothbrushes. I mean um paintbrushes to chew on. Cause I like brushing my teeth. But do you, do you <laughs> with like orange juice? With though? orange juice though? Yeah, that's a terrible combination. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta commit. <laughs> I did not get the tone off. Boop, boop. Looks great for my house. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. I have dance magic dance stuck in my head. You remind me of a babe. Don't we all? The babe with the power. What the? What power? The power of voodoo. Who do you do? Remind me of the babe. Mm. I saw my baby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take it and away. And that's where we have to cut it off. <laughs> Otherwise, copyright mm. infringement. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. We only get six seconds of fun. Is that all it is? Six yep. seconds. Brushlicker.com is available, Dave. It is? It is. Fantastic. Somebody pick that up for me. The best part is somebody looked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Who looked? Uh, Dwayne. Dwayne? Dwayne, Dwayne Williams? Dwayne O'Brien. Oh, Dwayne O'Brien. Okay. I'm still kind of sad that there's no, like, actual glitter for me to use for the orb. Crystal orb. It makes a little bit of... Uh, actually, if you mix some white... Into that silver? Yeah, That's what I'm doing right say, now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, a step ahead of you. Good job. Good job. I'm learning. Okay, I'm going to have to add some kind of washer detail because now her vest looks like a waffle. <laughs> Is it a tasty waffle? <laughs> 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 Who knows? It's all good. All right. Done the red. Base coat down. Where's the Mighty Rick? I am the Mighty Rick today. You are the Mighty Rick. No. Like, yep. Hmm? Yep. 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 <laughs> Mighty. 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 Yeah. Excellent. I think his finger is the same size as my arm. But <laughs> yeah. Rick is at uh, down at the Baltimore Convention Center, setting up for. Baltimore Comic Con. Yep, the Previews World booth and the Comic Comic Wow booth. Yep, getting those sorted out. That's gonna be a big weekend, and then he's off to uh, New York Comic Con next weekend. Yep, that he is. So he's having all the fun without us, guys. That's ridiculous. Mmm, chicken and waffles. God, I miss Long yeah. Beach. <laughs> Roscoe's chicken and waffles. 
That sounds good. Too. Oh, it's so good. I, I can't eat it anymore because my stupid allergy, but. What are you allergic to? Waffles? Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, gluten. Gluten. Uh, gluten and dairy. Yeah. So it takes out fried chicken as well? Yep. <sighs> Unless I make it myself. Thanks. Or someone else makes it for me and they're nice and don't use <laughs> wheat. <laughs> right. Oh. So after having done all the blue, the red, the yellow, the orange, the brown, I can finally do the green on Sir Didymus. Man of many colors. I like Sir Didymus. He's one of my favorites from the, from the whole thing. Yeah. I like his personality. He was always... He doesn't change from the start. He's just, he is what he is. Yep. Cheerful, enthusiastic, loyal, brave. All these things. Labyrinth was an awesome movie. It is an awesome movie. I love it. Yep. Yeah, I don't think it changed from being an awesome movie. <laughs> it still is. Yeah. It didn't lose its awesomeness? No. I true. think it holds up. And I was really it excited. Does. So, you know, being someone who grew up with it and then having a daughter, I have two daughters, but my oldest is 14 now. I remember the first time I ever showed her Labyrinth, how excited I was that she was excited about the movie. Right. Like, because it could, you know, could yep. go either way. And it's when it's something you totally love that much and you expose your child to it. And they're like, eh. when we saw Dark Crystal, I was worded out and she was bored. Right. <laughs> no. She was like, eh, this kind of bored, like halfway through. She wasn't really into it. And I was like a little shocked because I remember being so captivated by that movie. Yeah. And um, but then I got it. And then uh, as she got older, she watched it again and. Like, thought it was cool, but, like, really creepy and weird, but really love, love Labyrinth. Still loves Labyrinth, which is, like, really cool. And now my four-year-old also loves it. And um, this past, I mean, we listened to it randomly, but, like, this past week, every day we're in the car, she wants to listen to Magic Dance. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, she's now singing along to it, and she thinks it's really funny, and, like, especially, like, the little baby noises in the song and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it's really cool. It's a, uh, it's just one of those great classic movies that is going to be wonderful forever. Yep. Doesn't matter how much technology changes or you know how great or like um, and in like 50 special years, effects movies are now. Like it's still it holds up. Yeah. 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 There are a lot of great. Um, and it's David Bowie. I mean, you can't can't go wrong yet with it. To see the Dark Crystal, we'll go see it. Track it down. Never ending story paint set. That would be cool. Oh man, that would be really cool. Yep. Oh yeah, a new Netflix series for the Dark Crystals coming yep. out soon. Ugh, I forgot so creepy. about that. I, I bet you Rick would <laughs> like, known. I'm like terrified to. <laughs> I know it's Netflix. Ter terrified to see that one. Yeah. Because it'd be creepy. Do you remember the guys in Dark Crystal, like the long legs and the. Bald heads, I don't know, remember yep. what they're called. And they would chase them and all that. Just, there's a lot of, it was really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. A lot of things that you didn't ever picture as a kid right there on the screen. Or think about, you know. There's some Super amazing, creepy. Uh, yeah. Amazingly creative stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. So the show will take place before the movie and all done by Henson Studios. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, she's totally creeped out by Dark Crystal as well. Yeah. It was just really creepy. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's been ages since I've seen it, so I'm trying to remember different parts of it. There's more really just an impression of it that I have that yeah, that creepiness was mm -hmm. was awesome. That was the cool part. 
I'm gonna steal. We're gonna find them. And <laughs> like, yeah, oh, so creepy. Yeah, oh check the movie out. I mean, all the all the stuff out. Um, I was speaking to my baby. I see uh, my mom is watching. That means <laughs> Amelia is watching. Hi, baby. I love you. <laughs> dance, magic, dance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, guys have mm. questions. So yeah, this weekend we'll um, most of us will be at Baltimore Comic Con at downtown Baltimore. Uh, you can find us at the Comic Wow booth, uh, number two two zero seven. The previews booth will also be there, which is going to have some really great people. They're going to be interviewing some um, awesome comic news. Uh, that's booth two two zero nine. My husband Matt Stagmer from the awesome show Man at Arms will be there Saturday from one to three. Uh, he'll be doing autograph signings for free and also bringing the amazing Stormbreaker from the show Man at Arms and also seen in Avengers Infinity War. Um, uh, spoilers, it's Thor's. Yep. Um, <laughs> so I, I didn't realize. So did, yeah. did Matt make that? Yeah. Awesome. Yep. That's cool. All on the show, you can find them on YouTube, Man at Arms. Um, make sure always uh, to like, follow, subscribe, uh, Game Trade Media on all the platforms. I'm trying to say this all now so we don't forget later. Um, also, if you are not a fan of Facebook or you can't watch during our live streams on Facebook, we're also over on Twitch, um, yep. twitch.tv slash Game Trade Media. Uh, it's pretty simple. Any extension to find Game Trade Media is Game Trade Media. Yay! Yay. <laughs> um, like thanks, everyone, for stopping in. Uh, it's really fun. My Sarah is pretty oh, much you, done. Oh, Sarah's done. Excellent. Yeah. Add her to the, to the group. There you go. I guess I should uh, hurry up and there we go. finish Ambrosius. I did details on her little vest. Huh? Okay. Here, I'll put her on this side then. So by the time she spins around. Her vest looks l like like Egos a little bit. <laughs> Rick was here. He'd probably, you know, use some maple syrup. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Got it? There we go. Yeah, it looks a little waffly. I'm left-handed, cool. so the other side, like the closer part to my left hand, was like <laughs> a little heavier paintbrush. Looks great. That's my That's excuse cool. for her waffle vest. <laughs> or maybe I'm just hungry and I want some waffles now. Because <laughs> we <laughs> mentioned chicken and waffles earlier. Yep. I did that I on purpose then. Is. That was on purpose. Yeah, I'm kind of happy I used the kind of metallic tin brown. Yeah, it gives so it a nice not sheen to it. Yeah. That's cool. And then I did that wash, and then I added some white highlights for her shirt. And then I did that blue came out really good, too. Yep. And I'm right. happy I gave her some eyebrows. <laughs> it's creepy close up, but <laughs> I think it looks, it looks okay. It is weird sort of seeing them on. Yeah. Um, uh, Leona, you can see the framing on the yep. screen. Okay. <laughs> No, I could see it on the thing. It's gone now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's only with the uh with the, the cam on the uh this the rotator. Paint session didn't smell bad at all. Ha ha. Yeah, we are not in the bog of eternal stench, don't worry. Mm. I always love that smells bad. Okay. <laughs> I think we're I, almost we're done. almost we, there. We have six minutes left. We're gonna have just enough time to his place so again, follow social media, all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How's Jareth coming along over there, Gretchen? Actually, pretty, pretty good. Not, not Looks bad nice. at all. Yeah, oh, cool. I don't want to. I don't want to end up overpainting him mm -hmm. uh, because we had limited time. So I kind of just worked on all of the base things so that by the end of it, it yep. would be a nice. Oh nice yeah, so nice. sorry, thousand year beard. Uh, this is only an hour show. But it's on every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. From 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Come join us. And the upside, too, I mean, you can always go back. And if you're over on Twitch, um, mm -hmm. they're going to rerun this episode. So you can watch the whole thing again and see all the fun and nonsense and paint licking. I mean, paintbrush licking. What? Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then make Talking. sure on Facebook, click that notification. Click the bells. Yep. Click all the bells, and then all that the way uh, it'll notify you when we go live. Yeah, so you won't miss the end. I think on... Um, You'll get to see the beginning, too. Yep. I think we have 
hundred how many episodes do we have now, Leona? One million. One million? No. <laughs> 160, 170. Wow. That's impressive. So it's coming up on that looks really cool. It's gonna be two years in January. Holy right? moly. Yeah. We should do like That's a special yeah. yeah. Painting happy little mini special. That would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, rewatch YouTube as well. Yep. Thanks, Dwayne. Good idea. And again, subscribe there, like. Yep. And then if you want to uh, follow any of us on uh, social media, I'm Canon Doll X, Canon like the weapon, Doll like Barbie, and X like X Men. Um, over on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Um, the Facebooks. The Facebooks. It's uh, facebook.com slash Natasha Vineyard, which uh -huh. is my cosplay model page. Cool. Yeah. I make things and things for people and like to dress up as people. <laughs> but also it's just a bunch of nerdy stuff over there. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> like I feel really bad I haven't made anything in a while for cosplay. So like I love that we're doing this because I feel like it keeps my creative, creative juices, juices flowing. <laughs> I was about to say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the creative juices flowing. Yeah. Uh, cool. I will I actually will be streaming tomorrow, I think. Um doing making some uh stuff for my jubilee costume this weekend excellent yeah Very Ho cool. hopefully i don't mess it up <laughs> that'd be good <laughs> last time i did i messed it up <laughs> i did a sculpture and yeah. it was not i did not have the right materials because okay. i'd never done a sculpt and then gone to cast something okay before okay. and there was a lot of trial and error and wasted mold <laughs> a little bit more error. <laughs> wasted <Then> <laughs> silicone <laughs> no yeah a lot of Damn it! Because I had this whole idea that I was going to do, and it did not pan out. And then, you know, all of my friends who are like professional mold makers right. and stuff were like, "Why didn't you contact me?" And I was like, "Because I didn't want to bother you." you like, should, I'm, should you I know, talk to us? yeah, should talk to us? yeah. You should have yeah. came over. I've got a whole bunch of resin, and yeah. Now you and know. Yeah. Right. Now I know. And now you know. I was being stubborn. <laughs> I was trying to. I'd like to try to teach myself first yep. before I, like, you know, go to somebody else. Like, I want to see if I can do it. Right. Okay. And then. And then go from there. Oh, it looks so cool. We go. It's so cute. Now I want a shaggy dog. <laughs> right there. Wow, look at those colors. So many colors. That's beautiful. So many colors. All right, I'm gonna add Jareth up there. It's so vibrant. Excellent. Oh, there you go. Oh. That's nice. Uh, uh, can I? Can I? Yeah. Yep. Can He's coming around. The other side. He's around. There. We're Drop impatient. In. Okay. There we go. There we go. That looks really cool. That's a yep. nice setup. You know, when you first started painting the, the silver <laughs> on the cloak, mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. Was well, like, in the one the one picture that they have, you can't really tell yep. what color it is other than dark. Yeah. Yep. And I thought to myself, Jareth would wear gunmetal. Sure. I, dig <laughs> it. I mean, I if it was an option, I'm sure he would. <laughs> but uh, th so there's uh, Gretchen's amazing piece and Dave's amazing piece and my amazing piece. Thanks for watching. <laughs> We've got one minute. We're yeah. There you go. Go go go. Dave. Excellent. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I think we've had a good run through of all the social media stuff, so yes. you know where to find us. Yes. Um, join the painting happy little minis uh, painting group. Uh, Tuesday, I think Rick paint, uh, picked the. Uh, well, we randomly rolled. Mm -hmm. Randomly rolled oh. for the winner. Uh, of the Army Painter Mega Paint Set. Oh, so cool. you can go and check out that thread, find out who it was. Uh, Wilfred, Wilfred Robinson. Robinson. Congratulations. Well done, Wilfred. You have won. Yay. <laughs> and we're back. So Good. I think uh, at the moment we're at about 550, 560 members. So I think when we get to 750, we'll have another um, giveaway. We'll probably give another way, uh, give away another mega. Yeah, so tell your friends. Tell your friends. Join the group. Join the group. <laughs> you can find it really easy. Yeah, yeah. The finger guns thing. Finger guns are the best. Yeah. <laughs> you can't but really see them because of the box, but I, yeah. I promise you, I'm the best <laughs> finger gun spinner there is. <laughs> the side of the Mississippi. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so thanks very much for joining us. Uh, I'm Dave. I'm Natasha. And I'm Gretchen. And we'll see you at the game store. Guys, we're super excited to share that our new book, The Overstreet Guide to Collecting Tabletop Games, is now available. 
We love tabletop gaming as much as you do, and we're so thrilled to share the finished book with the community. This book covers the history of the tabletop industry, from classic board games like Monopoly to collectible card games like Magic, and of course, RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. The book also highlights some of the top talent in the industry, featuring interviews with Peter Atkinson, Matthew Mercer, Larry Elmore, and many more. Plus, we chatted with collectors from all walks of life who shared their own knowledge and insight about tabletop collecting. We also discuss everything from the impact of crowdfunding on the current state of the industry, as well as take a look at all sorts of ways to preserve your collection for years to come. This book provides a perfect snapshot of the tabletop industry at large and shows what makes this hobby so great. You can head into your local game store or comic shop right now and pick up your copy of the Overstreet Guide to Collecting Tabletop Games. If they don't have it in stock, you can order your copy through previews, through Game Trade Magazine, or through gemstonepub.com. Thanks for watching Painting Happy Little Minis. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Thank you.